Hello friends, and welcome to Hand and a Half Dungeon Craft. I'm your host, Quintuplex. After one little unspeakable crime against the world, the gods gave me an ultimatum. Enrich the lives of others by passing along my own hard-won crafting wisdom. Or suffer an eternity of brutal torture in the darkest corner of hell. Sprucing up your dungeon terrain with beveled lines. Gridline terrains have been around in one form or another since the early days of tabletop role-playing games. And while much has changed, much has also remained very much the same. For the most part, we tend to focus our craftiness and our efforts on beating the absolute crap out of our dungeon floors, adding damage in the form of cracks, chips, grooves, rough textures, and so on without end. But let's face it, highly distressed ancient grey stone tiles may not be stylistically appropriate for every single instance in which we would like to use model terrain. For example, if you're a wealthy count having guests for dinner, you would not want the floors of your great hall looking like this. Heavens no! Those sort of tiles are for the filthy catacombs beneath your castle. More realistically, you would want the main floors of your castle to appear clean, crisp, and regal. Like this. The lines here are beveled, and the surface is relatively smooth. The neat and trim form of this grid style creates a sense of well-manicured grandiosity, or perhaps evokes the notion of an arcane area, immune to the ravages of time. Perfect for castle courtrooms, well-funded temples, and discerning dinner hosts alike. Beveled lines always exude an aura of distinction and purpose. Now, if you're not sure you have a place for beveled lines in your projects, consider this. You can still texture and distress the absolute crap out of terrains that have beveled lines. Beveled lines are not exclusive to well-manicured areas. In fact, you may find that they add character and atmosphere to areas of decay and faded glory. Here is a typical dungeon tile without beveled lines. It looks as though it was always in ruins. Like the original architect just threw some rubble together and called it a day. Now this, by contrast, is distressed dungeon tile with beveled lines. It looks a bit more like something once wondrous and grand that has simply been worn down over time, as opposed to something purposely built to look like a wreck. So you see, even if you have no need of beautiful, clean, crisp, pure dungeon tiles, you can still use this technique to make your grimy, ancient dungeon tiles appear even grimier and even more ancient. As exacting as it may appear at first, beveling lines is actually quite easy, and it adds a lot of style for very little effort on your part. To bevel lines, you will need a piece of extruded polystyrene foam, a marker, a clear ruler, and a hobby knife. If you're like me, you'll already have some of these items housed in a magical bracer of crafting clamped onto your arms by the gods to ensure your compliance with their deal that won't come off no matter what you try and you've tried everything, including trying to chop your own arm off. If you don't have one of those, just have the items nearby. Come, I'll show you how it's done. I'll start by clearing the dank references off of my work table. And then next, I'll draw two lines on this singular brick of polystyrene foam. It's already looking like tiles. The two things I do here next are the most important steps to the technique. The first is this. Move your clear ruler to the side of the line, the line closest to your craft knife. Once you have it over just enough, and in the case of a marker line, the width of the marker is fine, take the craft knife and tilt it at an angle. Then make sure you get it right under your ruler and slide it straight down like that. That first bite into the foam is the most important one. Everything else after that is just one motion. So here it is on the other side, lining up the ruler over the line, angling the knife, biting the steel in beneath, and dragging down. 
Now watch this. This is very satisfying every single time. Right out. Look at that. And there you go. There's the technique. Here it is, a little bit up close. You can see it makes a little V-shape on the profile of the foam. And I'll do the same exact thing for the remaining line. Only this line is now divided in two. Bisected, if you will. It's important to have and to maintain that initial good bite into the foam with the craft knife as you drag it across that gap. So there's the first side. I'll flip it around 180 degrees. Align it up, get the ruler over the line. And same thing, bite in and then drag down. So now for this cut, and for this line, I'll have two pieces to pop out. One and two. Ah, so satisfying. Just look at that. Beautiful, clean, crisp lines. Ah. All right. Well, here's a more complex tile. These are one inch squares. I'll very quickly go through the technique and do it one line at a time here. Yes. Again, notice how that initial bite into the foam at the top of the tile is the most important part of crafting with that knife. After that, you just drag it straight on down. There we go. Man, those are some good-looking hands. Uh, while we're on that subject, uh, I strongly advise not crafting in gloves. It's... <laughs> It's a lot more difficult than I make it seem, I assure you. You'll notice here, on this final line, I come to a sticking point on the second square down. And that's okay. Sometimes that happens. If you notice, it's a little bit rough there. And when that does happen, you can just go back with your knife and clean it up some. And bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Here are a few more tiles I have made. Ah, mmm, glorious. And enough showing off. Shoo, get out of here. And that's it. Now you know how to bevel some lines. But you are not restricted to just grid lines. You can use this technique to trim up edges on projects or to make deep grooves and valleys to your heart's content. Bottom line, beveled lines make classy areas look more distinguished, and they make ruined areas look like something of value was actually ruined. I encourage you to give this technique a try. And I would love to see your amazing, or perhaps less than amazing, results. You are welcome to send photos of your neat beveled projects directly to me at handandahalfdungeoncraft at gmail.com. I would be happy to answer any technical questions you may have. So please, don't be shy. I still have quite a ways to go on my journey towards repentance. And I have many more cool tricks to pass along to you. Your support means a great deal to me. So please, consider liking, subscribing, or even becoming a patron. Every little bit helps. And that's our show. A group of adventurers has just entered the tavern, and, well, you know what that means. <laughs>